just to show you our plane, go on. Which one is that? This is that one here. Yeah. In the middle. Yeah. morning everyone we have woken up in california this morning we're in san francisco we arrived last night i think it was about five or six but we had a very very long travel day because it's like an 11 hour flight from london but we'd been up even earlier to get the flight from manchester down to london to connect to get this flight so it was just a long day yesterday um so we just popped out we got some pizza for dinner came back crashed went straight to sleep but I've woken up feeling okay this morning, not 100%, but that would be ambitious as an eight hour time difference. So that'll take a little bit of getting used to, but I'm so excited to be here. We're doing a big West Coast road trip. I did this once with my family when I was younger and it was just the best trip ever. So I'm so, so excited to do it again. We don't have a full itinerary because we really wanted to just go with the flow. And if we're really enjoying somewhere, we'll stay there for a little bit longer. Um, or if we finish like everything we wanna do somewhere, we can move on quicker or add in additional stops and that sort of thing. But to give you a rough idea of what we're thinking for the next few weeks. So we're obviously starting off in San Francisco. We're gonna go and explore the city today. Um, and then we've got the Giants game tonight as well. I'm so excited for that. And then next stop I think is gonna be Napa Valley then Yosemite, Sequoia, LA, Las Vegas, Phoenix. That is roughly Joshua Tree maybe. So we're gonna head downstairs for breakfast now. We're staying at the Palace Hotel and the room that breakfast is in is kind of the room that the hotel's famous for. So I'll show you that because it's so beautiful. And then we're just gonna get stuck in and go and see everything there is to see in San Francisco. I'm really, really excited. It's such a lovely city. I really liked it last time I was here. And as always, there's just gonna be lots of eating and drinking because that is what Kenny and I love to do. Um, so yeah, let's go get on with it. game i'm actually so looking forward to it we've been seeing people all day we drove past the stadium last night when we arrived and it looks like a really cool stadium we both had a pretty big lunch so i think we're just going to grab something at the game because i think there are loads of different food stands and that sort of thing um but yeah i'm really excited about it i really hope that our seats are good seats we'll see um and i hope we both have a really good time but yeah i'm excited so let's go I'm looking a little bit tired this morning. I really didn't sleep well last night. I think I'm just still adjusting to the time difference or something. But yeah, I was awake half the night. So if I look a bit puffy and a bit worse for a while this morning, that is why. But we've got it this morning. We've had breakfast. And now Kenny has gone out to pick up our hire car because we're leaving San Francisco this morning. We've got so much done yesterday that I feel like this morning we're ready for a change of scenery. Also ready for some slightly warmer weather because um, it's actually pretty cold in San Francisco at the moment. I think the temperature's like... 18 in the day in the sun but in the evening both evenings Kenny and I have been freezing freezing cold because we did not pack for cold weather but anyway we had the best time last night at the Giants game I loved it really really enjoyed it so much so that I really want to go and see 
other games. But back to this morning, Kenny's just popped out to pick up our car and then we're driving to Napa Valley, which was actually a last minute decision. Um, I've always really wanted to go, do a little wine tasting and all of that sort of thing. It looks so beautiful and Kenny and I like our wine. So I think it's gonna be really, really good. I'm wearing the little rail set that I showed you in last week's video and it's so nice. When you put something on and it just fits and feels the way you want it to, um, this is definitely that. I absolutely love it. I feel like I'll be wearing it non-stop now on this trip. I'm gonna go and finish packing and I will see you when Kenny gets here with the car. Just pulled over in Sausalito, which is just across the bridge from San Francisco and it's just like a really nice neighborhood and we're gonna get some lunch here. We just had lunch at this place behind us. I can't remember the name but it'll be in a couple of clips before this and it was so good. Would definitely recommend like the view is unreal. And Joinery. the food was really, it was called what? Joinery. Yeah. It was really good. Good beer as well, good food. You thought it was good, hey? And now we're gonna drive up to Napa Valley? Yeah, we're gonna get back on the road. We haven't booked a hotel yet, but we're just gonna figure that out as we go. What's going on with this lighting? I've never looked uglier in my life. Yeah, but that's nothing to do with camera. <laughs> Just checked into our hotel in Napa and it is so gorgeous here, so let me show you around. Hello. just got to our first wine tasting. Kenny was actually ready and ready to go at 9am this morning. I had to put him off for <laughs> two hours because I thought 9am is a tiny bit early for me. Um, but we've been up since six this morning and by half past eight, we've had two breakfasts at two different places. So it's going good today. We're having a good day. We've actually now been to three cafes this morning. Um, but yeah, we've just arrived at the first wine place. Can you tell them anything about it? Because I feel like you- I don't, I don't really know. This is what it's called here. You just said it was, um, you said it was a good one, a famous one, a popular one. Popular, yeah, there's signs to it. Yeah. Must mean it's alright. All of the wine tours seem to stop at this one, so we thought we'd come and see. I think that's it.
5 p.m. and that means it's wine hour in the hotel which is basically just like an hour where they give you different wines to try and they pair it with things like cheeses which obviously I didn't have but Kenny loves um, and like freshly baked cookies and just like little snacks and things like that and this hotel is just in the most gorgeous setting it's right on the river um, and the views are just beautiful so we're gonna go and enjoy a glass of wine I do have a top on I promise because um, I just realized from here it looks like I'm wearing nothing that's what we're doing now and then we'll probably head back into Napa to get some dinner but there's some sort of festival on at the moment so it's so busy in the town um but yeah we'll probably head back in and get dinner if we can as long as there's somewhere with bookings because of this festival if not honestly i feel like we have eaten so much we basically woke up this morning at 6 a.m started eating and haven't stopped until now because the food is just so good everywhere that we've been today has been so good but yeah we're having the best time this hotel is so gorgeous and i'm holding kenny out for his wine now so let's go you ready let's go <laughs> okay let's go I can't. We are heading out to dinner. I have just popped on this very creased linen dress, but I really really don't want to have to steam it so I'm just trying to try and ignore that slash cover it with the blazer um but yeah it's just a little white linen dress which is from Under the Stories and then I've got on this huge Zara blazer over the top to try and hide the crease situation and hope it comes out linen is the worst for creasing that's one thing I will say but yeah we're heading to a restaurant that Kenny has picked so I don't actually know too much about it but I know that it's like a riverfront restaurant which will be really nice um so Let's go see if Kenny's ready. The room is probably a complete mess, so excuse that. Yep, clothes everywhere. Hello, are you ready? Yeah. What are you looking at? What is this? Oh, it's a little roo. Is it playing piano? I oh no, it's, it's with his mum. Um, one thing about Kenny is, if he's ever on his phone, I never have to worry that it's gonna be other girls that he's looking at. It is always a video of a dog. Look at the little wolf. <laughs> so cute all we do all day long oh look she's licking it's sending each other videos of dogs right sir come on you look like you've had one too many wines let's go get some food in our system that would be a nice situation to have one too many wines Saying to go through. All right, there you go. Thank you.
We have woke up this morning in LA. I'm so excited to be here. I personally love LA. I've been here a couple of times and I know LA is one of those cities that kind of gets mixed reviews. I feel like it depends what you want from the city. But if you're here for good food, good bars, really good weather, great shopping, then it's the perfect city. Yesterday was a very long travel day because we started the day in Yosemite and then drove to Sequoia National Park and then drove from there to LA. So I think we were in the car for honestly about seven hours yesterday. So it was a very long travel day. We stayed last night in the one hotel. We just drove straight up and booked a room here and that's where we stayed last night. It is a really lovely hotel. We do really like this hotel. The rooms are gorgeous. I'll show you quickly in a second. We're actually about to check out of here because we're staying at the Waldorf for the next few nights. I think it's just more our sort of thing. But yeah, we're going to be in LA, I think for four nights. We were pretty tired when we got here yesterday. So we just popped out for a quick drink. Um, a really nice bar actually. I will remember the name of the bar and put it here. It's like a speakeasy, um, really chill just good drinks a nice place to go and then we went for dinner we went to catch and now I know that is just like so overdone but in my opinion I actually do really like the food at catch and Kenny had never been and I just feel like you can't go to LA without going to catch LA at least once um so we did that last night and that was really nice and then we just got a good night of sleep we had a lion this morning because I feel like we have been a few days overdue for a lion we've been getting up at like six every morning um and just getting on the road and just seeing things nice as it's been to see so many amazing places and be constantly on the move and just seeing so much of California I think it will also be really nice to just be in one place for a few nights and just chill and actually have time to do things like lie by the pool and relax I'm really excited to show Kenny some of my favorite places here I'm really excited to show you some of my favorite places here and also just to discover some new spots because I've not been for I think five years so obviously things will have changed yeah Kenny's just downstairs checking out now um and then I think we're gonna drive straight for brunch at one of my favorite places it will not surprise you it's like an organic um brunch place which is just you know me I'm ready for something really healthy as well because two days on the road it's been a lot of like chipotle and things like that so I'm really excited just for some really good good food so let me show you the room quickly and then we'll head out and get some brunch okay so this is the room it's a really nice big spacious room like i was saying it's also really pretty it's done in a very like aesthetic way um we slept in the bed last night so please just excuse that being a mess and there's a little sofa area over here big wardrobe and that sort of thing and then we have a view over la really out here which is really nice that's the pool actually down there um which we haven't been to and then this is this view and then i'll just quickly show you the bathroom as well the bathroom is just through here again it's a really nice big spacious bathroom we've used it this morning obviously to shower and everything this is my little outfit of the day i'll show you in the mirror out there actually um but yeah it's a really nice hotel room you definitely can't go wrong and the location's really good but i think we just like the water off but this is my outfit for today it's a little bit creased i did try and iron it but it's linen so but it's the set that i showed you from selfridges um and it's just the little top and then this maxi skirt and it's linen so it's really nice and cool so let me grab my handbag grab my tea and let's head down and go get some brunch that you can't eat in at that one anymore so we just got a salad and i got smoothie and then we'll probably go somewhere else So we got sandwich called the Madeline, which is basically a load of veggies, mushrooms, salad, and then this is almond ricotta, so it's Madeline. vegan. Madeline, Madeline, Madeline. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. Literally just checked into the room but i thought i'd show you quickly because it's so nice this is like the entryway this is the bathroom it's huge this room and then kenny's just opened the closet which is absolutely 
enormous, like his and hers, and then has a whole mirror set up here. Um, and then this is the room, which... Kenny, go stand in the room, because I feel like you need context. Go stand over in that corner. Um, there is just room for everything in here. It is so big. There's just so much, like, floor space. Look how far away Kenny is. It is huge. It's so beautiful. And then we have a view over the hills, which is really nice. I've not actually been out here. Go on. Once Kenny's figured out the door. <laughs> to lock and seal. Ah, there you go. Wow. Nice, isn't it? to dinner now i've just thrown on a big black blazer i've got my handbag as always and then these are just some like tailored tailored trousers excuse all the mess in here um and then i bought these shoes today from and other stories <laughs> everyone we're gonna do a bit of a beach day today neither of us have been to Malibu before um, so we thought we'd head up there today it looks really pretty get some lunch and then go to the beach is that what we're doing what's the plan yeah maybe see some dolphins are we gonna go on a boat no why I thought we said we could yeah we'll see when we get there well, I don't know okay well we might go on a boat if I get my way We'll go on a boat, but we're definitely just going to head up there, have a look. I'm really excited because I've never been to Malibu. So. Off we go. <laughs> so we'll see you when we get there. everyone it's been a couple of days but we're still in LA I think we're on our fourth or our fifth day here what is it something like that. I don't yeah know. something like that but we called this morning and we booked an extra night just because we love this hotel and we love LA and we're having such a good time a restaurant that we went to we actually went twice we went once for dinner and then the next day we went back for lunch because it was that good it's a vegan restaurant which I didn't actually know until we got there it's like a Mexican um, called Gracias Madre. Yeah, it was good. The food was really yeah. more simple Mexican food that was done well. Yeah, really, really nice. And I think it's all organic as well, so just the dream place. But if you're in um, LA and you like Mexican, 100% would recommend that. Today is our last full day and then tomorrow um, at some point we're going to drive to Vegas but we'll probably be here for most of the day tomorrow too. I think we're going to go Santa Monica direction for kind of dinner this evening because we've been very much like West Hollywood for most of the trip so I feel like we're ready to see something different. But yeah we're just waiting for breakfast to be delivered to the room now and then we're going to head out for the day. This is what we've been ordering for breakfast most days because it's so good. So no surprise, I get avocado toast. It's really, really good here. And then today, Kenny's got a side of these potatoes, which again, we've had every day. They're so good. I did say we had this every day, but we definitely haven't had this every day. What is that? I don't really know. Some sort of caviar or something. What is it? Eggs. Scrambled eggs. 
scrambled eggs with caviar. It looks like a risotto. All organic here, which is really good. And then we have these juices. This is a green juice. This is like a beetroot carrot kind of juice. But yeah, the breakfast here is so so good this is my little outfit of the day this dress is actually very short so i'm not sure whether i have shrunk it in the wash or something but it's an old dress from under the stories and it's just in this ribbed kind of material but it's so easy to throw on and i've got a zara jumper draped over the top and then these are my shoes for the day although these have been rubbing me so i'm going to pack my trainers as well so we're going to head out and explore hollywood now also something about the la water does not agree with my hair like my hair is so frizzy hair and nothing and I've got my same shampoo and conditioner and everything with me I don't know what it is We just found this place kind of in the Hollywood area called Besties and it's basically like a vegan supermarket sort of thing or like a mini market but they do the best soft serve vegan ice cream I've ever had. Look at the sunset from our room it's so so gorgeous all across the hills we've just been watching it from the rooftop. We just quickly got changed and now we're on our way to dinner. We're heading towards Santa Monica for dinner tonight. We're actually going to a place called Market, which I've not been to before. I think it's kind of half bar, half restaurant, but we're not that hungry after lunch and the ice cream and all of that sort of thing. It's only seven o'clock, so the sun is very much still out. So we're hoping we might catch the sunset um, on the beach because we've not really spent any time on the beach since we've been here, which is a shame because this is our last chance to see the beach before we head inland tomorrow to Vegas. Hello. Anything from you? What's up, mate? I'm starving. You are not starving. Nah, I'm f I can eat, but I'm full. But last night we did this, and you told me all day you don't need any, you're so full. Next thing I know, we get to a bar and you're in a mood because you're starving. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> could, could not believe my eyes. Tell me the truth then, are you hungry now or no? There was no tantrum, and I'm not hungry. You were. But I can eat. What does that mean then? Like you could, you could if your life depended on it, eat. It means I don't need to eat, but if food's in front of me, I will eat. Or well, if I'm given a menu, I will order. <laughs> okay. Are you excited for Vegas tomorrow? Vegas was your choice, really. So. Yeah, we'll go buy some craps. I don't know what that throw is. Throw some dice. Let's throw some dice. Gambling. Yeah. I've never done that, you know. Well, you've never gambled. Obviously not. When would First I? Time for well, I won't be doing it, but I can do it with your money. Yeah, but it's only small stakes, like $5 and stuff like that. $5? I thought it was all like big stakes. It depends which games you play and which table you go to. Last time Kenny went to Vegas was on a huge boys trip after you'd been promoted with some football team, wasn't it? I have tried to tell him it will be slightly different with your almost wife than it was with 20 boys, but... Thoughts? Still filming me, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's fine. Like, people go all the time, don't they? I feel like you're turning here. I or... am turning. Okay. I feel like you're interfering once again. <laughs> Potatoes. We've just checked out of our hotel. I'm so sad because I loved it there. We had the best time. 
And now we are on our way. We're gonna stop by the Grove quickly just to pick up some lunch probably from Air One or if they've got a creation there, I'm getting their Caesar salad. And then I also want to go to Barnes and Noble to get a book because it's been so hard to find any bookshops in LA. We're gonna pop there quickly and then we're gonna get on the road to Vegas. on the road in the end I just had to do another Caesar salad from creation they are so good if you're lucky enough to live in LA you have to try it it's called hail vegan chickpea Caesar salad I don't know what they put in this but it's so so good and then I also did the juice today I did the sole juice um, which is basically just a bunch of veggies but it tastes really good I don't know how because these things normally don't taste the best um, but yeah, that's lunch today and we're on the road and we're on our way to Vegas. in the morning it's pretty early and we got here really late last night so I just thought I'd let Kenny sleep in because he did a lot of driving yesterday and I thought I'd come and sit outside and just have a big catch up with you because I've not checked in for a few days um, we are currently staying in the most beautiful hotel in Sedona I mean I don't think you can see too much behind me but in a second I'll show you because it's honestly breathtaking um, but I thought I'd quickly catch you up on the last few days because I think the last time I actually talked to you was probably when we were leaving LA or just before we left LA or sometime around then when we were headed to Vegas. I didn't really get the camera out too much in Vegas just because if you've been to Vegas you'll kind of know the vibe. It's very much you just eat, drink, go to the casinos and it was so hot while we were in Vegas. It's still so hot here. It was honestly between 40 and 45 degrees when we were in Vegas so we didn't even lie by the pool like it was not for me anyway it was not pool weather. There were people out there and I just don't know how. I have been to Vegas once but I was a child so I'd never really done the casino or I wasn't a child but I was with my family we never really went to the casinos this time what was really fun is that Kenny knows kind of all the rules of things like blackjack roulette um, I don't know the other games he showed me so many different games he was just gambling really small amounts um, but just showing me how all the games work and it was just a really it was a really cool couple of days and really interesting and Kenny and I definitely made the most of it we just laughed basically for two days and won some money lost some money and just did the whole Vegas thing it was really fun and then yesterday we woke up and drove straight to um, the Grand Canyon I cannot put into words how breathtaking the Grand Canyon is. Like I had never been before and I completely underestimated just how incredibly beautiful and genuinely just like breathtaking is the only word I can really say. We were speechless. It is so vast, it is so beautiful. And I just, I can't describe to you, I text my family straight away saying like, they have to go 
to the Grand Canyon. It's, for me, it's like a must-see, once-in-a-lifetime thing. Like, Kenny and I are fortunate enough to have travelled to lots of really, really beautiful places, and I've travelled to so many amazing places in America with my family before, but the Grand Canyon, like, it has to be top of the list in terms of visually it was definitely probably the best thing I've ever seen it was just yeah if, if you ever are lucky enough to have the chance to go you have to go um, so as a result we decided that we wanted to stay for sunset because I just think that is a once in a lifetime cannot be beaten experience and it really truly was it was one of the best experiences of my life Kenny and I got some wine we took a little picnic and we just went up to this incredible point we went to Hopi Point I think it's called um, for sunset and we just found like a really private little area it was like a rock that stuck out I'm sure I put clips in actually you've probably seen it um, but it was really just him and I and we just watched the sunset there and it was top 10 moments of my whole life like Kenny and I was saying that and the Dolomites obviously when we got engaged probably up there with like best things um, we've ever experienced so by the way if you can hear things in the background it's the golf buggies taking people um, to and from breakfast here but that brings us on to now so after we had seen the sunset at the Grand Canyon and also nearly missed the last shuttle bus back to the car we got on the very last one which was about an hour after sunset um, and there really was no one up there it was Kenny and I and one other couple and then we met this guy who grew up in Sedona and now lives like half the time down in um, the canyon with the native communities. He was so cool. He taught us so much. We then drove about two and a half hours to Sedona. We also saw Hoover Dam yesterday. I forgot to say that. We saw Hoover Dam on the way to the Grand Canyon. Um, but yeah, we got to Sedona really late last night, checked into this hotel. We're staying at a place called Enchantment Resort, which I'll show you the views in a second. I need to show you properly, but honestly, breathtaking. Um, and Sedona, when we drove through it last night, looked like such a cool little town, which is not unexpected because we knew nothing about Sedona but we kind of just picked the nearest town between the Grand Canyon and Phoenix because we fly from Phoenix tomorrow to New Orleans so um, yeah we picked Sedona and I'm so glad we did it is honestly beautiful the town looks so cool I'm really excited to go there later today and just explore but for now I'm going to show you the hotel show you around show you the views which are honestly I don't know whether you can see I think I need to turn the camera around. They are honestly just incredible. And then we will go and get some breakfast and just go out exploring. But I think we're gonna do a bit of a hike this morning. Um, definitely go into the town, definitely go get dinner in the town later. Um, and yeah, we'll just do the whole thing. So this has been directly behind me while I've been talking to you. These huge, huge red rocks, like glowing bright red with the sunrise. And it's honestly, beautiful here there's so much nature as well um, I'm so excited to go out exploring this morning we're going to do a bit of a hike I think up here somewhere um, before it gets too hot and then we are nestled in over here these are what all the rooms look like not sure if Kenny's still asleep but we'll go and say good morning to him if not and like I said there's golf buggies that take you around everywhere and we are just round here somewhere there are so many different lizards as well i'm such like a nature animal girl it's just my heaven this is our little room here and you can see all the rocks right behind i'll go and see if kenny's awake and then we can say good morning to him you're pretending to wake up for the vlog that's what we're doing okay morning you've got your whole cosmetic bag in the bed with you <laughs> morning. <laughs> morning have you got anything else to oh about take three is it oh yeah that's good <laughs> that's good morning morning um shall we go do you want to get up and go you have this one piece of hair yeah gorgeous there you go so you weren't quite oh no it's back have you just had a shower yeah just woke up. I mean, uh, but yeah, just woke up, but was it? <laughs> okay, whatever, let's go get some breakfast. <laughs>
we're just on our way to dinner. It's a really small, like casual, chilled little town. But when we were at the pool today, one of the girls that worked there had just some restaurant recommendations. So I think we're gonna go and try one of them, but we're gonna go and have a drink first and just get what's left of the sunset this evening. Kenny is here. Hello, sir. Yeah. Kenny went into town for a bit earlier on his own. So he's got a bit of an idea of where we should go and things like that. Because I, randomly, I didn't feel very well earlier. Um, I think it was honestly, the heat because the heat here has just been a lot today even in the shade it's been just extremely hot i think it's been like you know 41 42 or something um but yeah so super chilled i'm really looking forward to seeing the town in the evening when it's not dark because it was dark here when we got here last night if that makes sense and now it's a bit cooler as well i feel like i can properly take in the town mm -hmm. 